Mac OS user interface for beginners, how to use the Apple MacBook Pro and switching from Windows to Mac OS. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss a couple of steps as a beginner on how we can get ahead and then start using our MacBook. So make sure to watch the video till the end. Now, before you actually get on with the beginner's guide, you have to first set up your MacBook. Now you have to have created an Apple ID and everything. I've also already created a video on this. I'll make sure to leave that in the description box. In just in case I forget to describe it in the description box, you can simply search them in my channel. It's a full video on how you can set up Mac whenever you're booting it for the first time by setting up your Apple ID and so on and after you do that you're going to land on this page. Now once we're done with the setup process you're going to see this type of interface where the very first thing is that our interface settings. Now if you have ever used iPhones or any iOS devices you'll find and come to notice that the interface is almost pretty similar because if you look at the Apple ID profile from the top left of the screen here you'll find the system settings. This is the settings application for our iOS. If you want to navigate to full screen you can just click on this full screen over here option by clicking the zoom option here and then you'll be able to navigate to this full screen option over here as well so let me also go ahead and then do that once you've done this you can see the interface such as Wi-Fi Bluetooth network notifications sounds focus screen time all of these are pretty much similar just like it was on iOS right if you want to do some updating stuff you can go to general go to software update and so on as well if you want to reset do whatever else again you'll find all those options right over here as well now the another thing let's say you want to keep in mind is that you want to download some apps and if you would like to download those apps what you have to do is again click the Apple ID profile and go to this option at the second option or the third option that says App Store and then click on the App Store option and once you click on the App Store option over here you can simply enter the full screen you will be able to search for any applications that are available just like that you have on iOS you can download the Prime Video app you can download any of the other applications that you prefer in this case as well now this is the way to download the apps now the other is let us get started with using our browser so by default MacBook is going to provide you the Safari browser you also have the messages option if you want to link your iOS you can link them and then sign into your iMessage with your Apple ID if you would like or you can also use the Apple Mail you have the Apple Photos you have the FaceTime you have calendar you have contacts if you have linked them you have the reminders notes and so many other functions and such like that you have your recycle bin just like you do as well if you've ever used iPhone as I'm telling you it is almost similar to your iPhone it's nothing big of an issue but as an Android and a Windows user when you're first time switching to Mac OS things could be a little bit hectic you might not know that but eventually you're going to get the hang of it so hope this video helped you guys if you have got any more questions then feel free to comment down below as well thank you very much for watching till the very end of this tutorial and see you soon in the next video